go. They're not dead at Harper's Ferry. He lost at most 500 men here. They're, some of them are dead or wounded from South Mountain, but not that many. All this campaigning, Lee's army was already tired. Now in the scramble to get his army back into one spot to condense it, it has worn it out. And as historian Joseph Harsh put it, Lee drove the wheels off his army. It was exhausted. There was nothing left. And it gave up what last bit of fuel it had at the Battle of Antietam. And now out of those 38,000 men, he has lost nearly a third of them. And he realizes my campaign is done. And he retreats back into Virginia, not to fight another battle until December 1862 at Fredericksburg. So, Harper Sari is not the climax of this campaign by any means. That honor belongs to Antietam. Please visit it. Say hi to the Rangers. They just opened their brand new visitor center. I can't wait to see it. I'm jealous. It is one of the most well-preserved battlefields in North America, it and Shiloh. But Harper Sari, if anyone here played baseball fans, no one. Okay, we got a couple. You know what a sack fly is? Anyone else know what? Okay, I might get that one. Basically, this is the wrench in Lee's works that gums up everything. He developed a plan to deal with it, but it forced him to split his army. It further exhausted his already tired army and made him fight a battle he not originally intended to fight with a significantly smaller and much more worn out army than he had originally planned on. So yes, he's won. He's captured large numbers of men large numbers of muskets and cannons, but at what cost? And so at the end of this campaign, Lincoln feels empowered to issue the Emancipation Proclamation, starting the process of actually bringing about the end of slavery through force of arms. And that fall, Lincoln will stand in this building where John Brown was captured in 1859 for trying to do the same thing. To my knowledge, no one wrote down what Lincoln said, if he said anything. Boy, I would like to drill into his head and see what was going on in there. You, you put your foot on that, thank you. Okay, grab just a second. And so, that is where our battle fits into this. Yes, it is Jackson's greatest victory. I will not take away from that. He surrounded this place, lost relatively few men, handled the scramble situation pretty well.